On mobile devices, we've become consumers driven by apps more and more and less by the browser. But your view is that this is not a permanent situation. So tell me yeah. about how you think the app world is going to unfold. Yeah. So apps are very useful, and I use a lot of them. And they are, it's, it's not a singular solution for everything. So one of the biggest benefits of apps is that the single purpose, they're quick, they're dedicated to that functional purpose. One of the benefits of the web at large is it's entirely linkable. So I can link from one thing to the next to the next. Both of those need to exist. With HTML5, the new web standard, I can create apps that have a great visual expressiveness and are every bit as quote unquote delicious as a purpose-built app, but it runs in a browser and get all the benefits of both apps and the web in one place. And so that's what we're going to see take off. Now, of course, part of the difference is, uh, is the app experience in part is about paid apps yeah. as much as it is for uh, for free apps. So that, that model seems to work fine for free apps, but what happens to developers who are trying to, um, to build uh, experiences that uh, consumers are willing to pay for? Yeah, so they'll build open web apps, and open doesn't necessarily need to mean free. They can charge for them, they can monetize them. So the way that they discover them and the open web app transaction model mm -hmm. needs to be developed. We're investing a significant amount in developing that. Mm -hmm. So if, as you look out, say, you know, 12 or 18 or 24 months from now, at the way people are using their mobile devices, do you think there's a shift back towards the browser as the starting point in a way that it may not be necessarily at the moment if you're using an iPhone or an Android phone? Yeah, choice always wins. And so however many iOS developers there are and Android developers there are, even if you pile them together, there aren't anywhere near as many as there are web developers, where there's three to five million web developers. And it's hard to imagine one or two companies, no matter how great they are, satisfying all of the choice needs of an entire global society. So one last thing I, I just wanted to raise is that um, it puts Apple in an interesting position as they've been the, sort of the leader of sort of the appification of, uh, yeah. of, of mobile devices, but they've also been a big proponent of HTML5. Correct. Uh, which is you know key part of, of the new browser. Do you see any tension there for Apple and the role that, that apps play in, uh, in, in their ecosystem? Yeah, so both will exist. And apps, when I, when I do stock trades uh, on my personal account, I want a dedicated app for that. I just boom and I'm there and it, it serves a useful purpose. When I play chess on an airplane, I want an app. But there's many situations when I'm looking for new music and some local little theater to be able to buy tickets and find a seat and link to all these different sites and then post a review. I want actually a web page to do that and a web app to do that. So both will exist.